was just, it really hurt. I mean, on a scale of one to 10, it was a nine. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to shoot a video talking about my piercings because recently I got some new piercings and I just wanted to talk about them. So I'm gonna go over the piercings I have and tell about when I got them and how much they hurt and the process and uh, you know, just talk about them. I currently have 13 mostly ear piercings and then I have three that I've taken out. So um, three of them I no longer have in my ears or on my body. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so we will start with the lobes, the easy lobes. I currently have um, three piercings in each lobe. And the first ones I got when I was a baby, so who knows what happened. I don't know how old I was, probably not even a year old. I'm not sure. Those were my first uh, piercings. I've had them forever. Then my second hole I got when I was 14. And my father did not want me to get it, which I don't know why. It was just a second hole. And everybody had one. And I wanted a second hole. And he was like, no, I don't think you need any more piercings. So, um, I didn't get one. And, but when I turned 14, I, my cousin came to town, which was, it was really my dad's first cousin. So I don't know what she was to me, but anyway, it was my first time meeting her and she had a daughter who was like a couple of years younger than me. And she had a second hole piercing. And I'm like, she has a second hole. Why is she's younger than me? Why can't I get a second hole? So I was talking to her mom and I'm like, you know, I'd like a second hole, but my dad said I can't get it. And she was like, what? Your dad said you can't get it. And she said, well, that's, don't worry about it. I'm going to take you to the mall and we're going to get it. So we went to Claire's and I got my second hole. And actually this third hole was my second hole. It was way up here. <laughs> this, the third one is the second one. So got back home. My dad saw it and he's like, well, there's nothing I could do about it now. Well, I told him, I was like, dad, I got to show you something. I tell you something. I went and got my ears pierced. And of course I blamed it on the cousin. I was like, she said I could do it. And he's like, well, ain't nothing I could do about it now. But he was visibly upset. I mean, he acted like I had gotten a tattoo or something. He was really, he was really upset. So, all right, that was the... Should I go in order or should we just cover all the lobes? Let's just cover all the lobes. But this is not in order. Because the next person after that would have been my nose, which is going to be a good story. But, okay, let's go with the third uh, lobe. I got that actually less than a year ago. And it's because I just finally decided that that gap between the first two was just too big. And... I just needed to fill it. So, yeah, I don't know why my second, well, because I went to Claire's. Why do you think? Um, my second hole was so far away from my first hole that I had room enough to get the third hole in between the two. And even though by now I knew better, I still went to Claire's for that. Because it's a lobe and it's quick and I'm like, just punch it up and let's go. So, yeah, but do not get your ears pierced at Clara's. I don't care if it's a lobe only and certainly not any cartilage piercings, please. But definitely do not get, uh, just don't go to Clara's. No shade to Clara's, but mm -mm. the next piercing I got, I was 16 and that was my nose piercing. Now my nose piercing is a funny story because I went somewhere worse than Clara's for this one. I went to my local record shop. Mm-hmm. That's how old I am, the record shop. Yeah, they where they sell vinyl records and cassette tapes, yes. Okay, I wanted a nose ring. This time I wasn't asking nobody's permission. I was getting my nose ring. So I wanted the nose ring and it was because MC Light had one and I had to have it. I wanted that nose ring. So the only place that I knew that pierced ears was the record shop that was a few blocks away from me. 
And I mean, I lived in the hood and everything and I didn't just have access to the mall like that. I guess I could have went to the mall, but the place that I could have got to quickly that pierced ears was the record shop. So I go in there and I tell them, you know, I know you guys pierce ears, but I want my nose pierced. Do you pierce noses? And he's like, no, we don't pierce noses. Um, mm -mm, just, you know, ears. Because, of course, they only got the little guns and stuff. And I don't know if I was too young or naive. I didn't know where you go. I didn't know that you go to piercing shops or tattoo shops to get piercings like that. I, I had no idea where you would go to get that. I just thought you went to where they pierce ears and they punch the gun on your nose. That's what I thought. So anyway, he said, no, we do not pierce uh, noses. However, we do have this little device. It's called a sleeper. And it's kind of a self-piercing earring. You could try that if you want. So I'm like, okay, let me have it. And I'll insert a picture of this thing. So it's like a hoop but the it has two sharp points on either side of the hoop and i think they call them sleepers but i always called it self piercing i don't know but anyway it's two it's two sharp points and i mean sharp like not like an earring sharp just real pointy like almost not as sharp as a needle you know but not blunt and the way it works is you're supposed to clamp it to your earlobe and after about a week or so, it works its way through the ear by being clamped down like that. So I decide to get this big hoop thingy and put it on my nose. Now I'm trying to kind of be discreet about this nose ring I want, but now I gotta walk around for a week with this big hoop. And it wasn't a dainty hoop, it was, it was a hoop. And I gotta walk around with it on my nose and hope Hopefully it'll pierce my nose and go through so I do that and after a week it did go through oh and the other thing you had to do was you had to keep turning it you had to keep like pushing it giving it some force to get in there so I was doing that and after a week it was almost through but not quite it was just a little bit left that it hadn't went through yet but I couldn't take it no more I was ready to take that hoop out and get a stud so I took a, now a starter earring is one that they insert in the guns and they kind of have a little point on them too. And um, the piercing gun. So I took one of those, which had a little point. I took the hoop off and I stuck it the rest of the way through my nose and I just, it just squoze until it went through and tears were flowing and it hurt, but my nose was pierced. And that is how I got my nose piercing and it's still there and I've had it since I was 16 and luckily it did not get um, infected um, it's in a decent spot you know it, it wasn't in a weird place um, and it uh, I took it out for I took it out for years I didn't wear my nose ring for a while maybe like 10 years for some reason I just wasn't feeling it and then I put it back and it was still in there. I mean, the hole was still there. So that is my nose piercing story. And on a pain level, which I guess it don't even matter because please, no one do this. No one, don't pierce your nose like this. But for pain level, I'm gonna give it maybe a four. Yeah, maybe a four. It wasn't that bad. Well, it was so long ago, I don't remember. Okay, moving right along to, dang, this, I'm talking a lot. This, this video is already 10 minutes long, about, just about. Okay, so anyway, moving on to the next piercings I got was my upper helix, which was this one here. And um, that one I got at a beauty shop. <laughs> I'm getting to the piercing shops. I'm, I'm getting there. But that one was at a beauty shop um, near my cousin's house. I wanted my upper cartilage pierced because it was the thing. I think I was 16, 17, 17. I had to be like 17 then. And so I went in there and she did it with the gun. It hurt like hell. I mean, my ears were stinging. And I, I got them both done. 
um, one I took out. That's one of the ones I lost because it hurt so bad that I couldn't take it anymore. I eventually just took this one out. I think this one probably was infected and I'm not sure, but it really hurt so bad I took it out and it closed. This one I kept, but I did take this one out for years and years and years and I actually just put it back in last year and it was still open. One day I was just fooling around, feeling on my ear and I felt a hole and I'm like, is that hole still there? And um, I went to put an earring in it and it was still open. So this is the one right here that um, I got when I was 17. Okay, that's the end of the piercing guns. Now let's fast forward. I wanted to get curated ears. So I decided to go find a piercing shop and get my um, ears pierced. So the first one I got was uh, the conch. That's my conch right in there. Um, I'm waiting to get a hoop in it. When you first get a conch, they want you to put a straight piercing in it, but I have a gold hoop that I wanna put in there. So I'm just waiting till that one heals. And um, on a scale of one to 10 for pain, I would say my conch was maybe a uh, five, maybe six. It wasn't that bad, but it, it did hurt. So it was like a five or a six on a scale of one to 10. And um, I got it in September of 2022. So it hasn't been in that long, not even a year yet. So I'm still kind of waiting on it to heal. Um, I sleep on it and it's hard to heal when I keep sleeping. I, oh, and it did get infected too. So that was a whole nother story. That one got infected, but I was able to save the piercing. I'll do another video on the infections because I got another one that got infected and it was the tragus. I got my tragus pierced, but that one I lost. That was one of the ones I lost. Um, it's gone. And that one got infected really bad and I would do another story on that later. So, oh, and I got to back up because I forgot um, there was a piercing in between. So when I was 26, so yeah, when I was 26, I got my tongue pierced. I, how did I forget that one? That has got to be the worst pain I have ever had. Now, when I went to get my tongue pierced, I asked everybody. And everybody that had one said, oh, it wasn't that bad. No, it didn't hurt that bad. Mm -mm. So I'm like, okay, well, I know it's going to hurt because it's a needle going through your tongue. But I guess it's not going to be that bad. It was that bad. I don't know if, if I just got a bad piercer or if it just hurts. But it felt like that needle, first of all, the needle was like this long. It felt like it was going through my tongue in slow motion. And it was just, it really hurt. I mean, on a scale of one to 10, it was a nine. That It hurt bad. <laughs> and not only did it hurt while I was getting pierced, but for 10 days after that, I was in pain. My tongue was really swollen. I was in a lot of pain. I wanted to take it out. I was so over it. But I had paid $60 to get this tongue ring, and I wasn't about to take it out. <laughs> I'm like, nope, I'm not taking it out. I went through all that pain, and I paid $60. We're leaving this in. So eventually it healed, and um, it, it worked out for me for a long time. And when I got maybe in my mid 40s, um, I just thought it was kind of juvenile for me and I took it out. I was like, Kim, you're getting a little too old for a tongue ring, but that's not true. So if you're out there and you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, and you want a tongue ring or you have a tongue ring and you want it, that's fine. And now I kind of wish I did not take my tongue ring out because I kind of wanted it, but I was afraid of what people would say. Like people would notice I had it and say, oh, aren't you a little old to have a tongue ring, even though I had it since I was in my twenties. But yeah, so that was the third one I lost. So the three I lost were the upper helix over here, my tragus on the left side and my tongue ring. Those are the three that I had and are gone. Moving on. 
Okay, the same day that I got the conch and the tragus that is no more, I got another upper helix because remember the one I got when I was 17, it, you know, closed up. So I went and got another one and that's this one right here. And by the way, I will put a link to any jewelry I have in the um, description box. The only one I don't think I have a... Um, a link to would be for the conch piercing and that's because um, I got that from the piercer the piercing shop and but I'll put something similar it's a titanium it's not gold so um, I'll put that in the description box so this helix was probably about a four on a scale of one to ten it wasn't that bad okay so all three of those I got at the same time I got the tragus the conch and the upper helix I got those all three at the same time. Then a couple of months later, even after the infections and all of that, I was like, do it again. So I went back and I got um, some piercings on this side. So I got um, another tragus because I lost my tragus. And the tragus, this one actually this is it feels healed I know it's not completely healed because I just got this in November of 2020 and it's the only one not giving me issues right now like all the rest of them at some point I feel some type of pain but my tragus is doing very well and I'm very proud of it because the last tragus we had um not so much. So on a scale of one to 10, I would say my tragus was a six. I have a small tragus, um, cause at one point I wanted to get two piercings in my tragus, but it's just too, the, my anatomy is just too small to get two piercings there. So, um, yeah, I would say it was about a six for pain on that one. And, um, it hurts more putting the jewelry in than it does the piercing, but it still hurts. All right, and then that same sitting, I got this flat. Um, this is just a flat that I have on the top here. And again, this uh, jewelry I got from Asolari. As I think that's how you pronounce it. Asolari. And this one, it didn't hurt too bad. I would say that was about a four. And then in the same sitting, I got my date. Anyway, that was a 7 out of 10. That one really hurt, and it was more so putting the jewelry in. I don't know what was going on with putting that jewelry in, but it was painful. <laughs> and so, yeah, that was like a 7 out of 10. Okay, so that is it. That's my 13 that I currently have, and than the three that I no longer have. And I still wanna get some more, so I'll probably come back and do a video once I get more, or either there's some I want, there's some piercings I want, but we'll probably never get. So maybe I'll do a video on those as well and why I want them and why I probably will never. So thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what your most painful piercing was or and or what piercing you wanna get next. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.